What's up everybody? In this video, I really wanna dig into pan, tilt, and zoom presets. I wanna show you guys all the settings and the configuration so that you can really control your pan, tilt, zooms with excellence using pan, tilt, and zoom presets. Let's get started. All right, so each pan, tilt, zoom camera preset is able to store the location of the camera's current position along with the exposure settings and the speed at which you would like the camera to recall that preset. And so PTZ Optics cameras can actually store over 200 PTZ camera presets and they have a lot of control for automating your production. So it's important to remember when you save a PTZ preset, you are saving all of the camera's current exposure settings and the settings for the speed at which you would like the camera to recall that PTZ preset. So it's kind of a lot, and I think the best thing to do is to show it to you. I am going to start with using the IR remote control to set and recall presets. Then I'll use the camera's web interface and then I'll show it to you on a PTZ camera joystick controller. And we'll talk about some of the, uh, the features of these joysticks and camera controllers as we go forward. All right, well, let's start by understanding how motion sync works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the menu here and just make sure that motion sync is on. With all PTZ Optics cameras, motion sync should be on by default. And when you go into the on-screen display menu, what you'll notice is that there actually is a speed setting for motion sync. So you can tweak how motion sync works. And uh, it, let's take a look at how it works so that you can really kind of dig into this. I'm going to go to the base setting of 185. And so we know motion sync is on. Now, I have a preset that's going to explain motion sync here. And what's happening is that the pan, tilt, and zoom is trying to triangulate and end at the exact same time. So that creates a really beautiful um, camera movement. So we can see here that it's moving quickly to this preset and slowly to that preset. And that is because these pan, tilt, zoom settings are saved with the preset. So if I change the preset here, with settings of one, 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 and one here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. When we move to these presets, it's going to be very slow. So that's a, a very slow speed as it comes in, but we can make that faster. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples here. So this is preset one. And so I'm going to, this is with motion sync enabled. I'm going to turn pan, the pan, tilt, and zoom speed up. I generally don't like super fast pan, tilt, zoom movements, but we're gonna go ahead and try this, and we are gonna set preset one. Now preset two, we just set to a very slow speed once again. So the pan, the tilt, and the zoom is all happening fairly slowly. But when we go back to preset one, we just set a faster speed. Now we're seeing it move much faster. Now everything didn't really line up the way we wanted it, so what we can do is we can go into motion sync and we can edit the max speed. So let's turn the max speed up a bit and come out of here. We'll go back to preset two. Now preset two is set to a fairly slow pan tilt zoom speed. So what we can do is update it just to show a difference here and hit set. And let's call preset one now that we have changed the motion sync speed. It's a little better. So this is what motion sync does. It synchronizes the pan, tilt, and zoom in between presets. But for the rest of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the motion sync off with manual pan, tilt, zoom, which will give you even more, it's kind of like automatic mode versus manual mode, give you even more automatic control. So let's take a look after this.
All right, so let's start by using the IR remote control. What I'm gonna do is simply set a PTZ camera preset to show you how this works. Now, IR remote controls, by the way, have the ability to control up to four cameras. So you can set up your cameras if you read the, the remote control and the manual options, you can actually set up the cameras to control multiple. I have uh, this camera, actually, this is a Move SE camera, set up to be controlled on camera two, so it doesn't mess with any of our other cameras. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the preset button and then preset one. And what that's going to do is on the camera video, you're actually going to see, I'm going to do this again so we can pull the camera video up, is you're going to see a little oh, preset one okay uh, that comes up on the camera video feed coming from this camera when you set a preset. So I just hit preset one, and then let me just show this on preset two here. Uh, it says preset to okay. So you know the preset was set. So when I call preset one, it's gonna go to preset one. It's gonna go kind of slowly, and uh, that's because I have it set up to move slowly. But let me show you how to set it up so that it'll move more quickly, for example. So these PTZ presets can move slowly to kind of sweep across a specific space, or they can be set up to move quickly so that you can quickly move back and forth between presets before you cut to them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the menu button right here to pull up the on-screen display menu of the camera. And this is going to show you where you can set up the speed options here. So the, one of the first things that you need to know about PTZ Optics cameras is we have a really cool feature that's on by default that's called Motion Sync. And motion sync is on by default. When motion sync is on, and it's actually kind of nested in other settings here, when motion sync is on, you cannot control the PTZ speeds in between presets. What motion sync does is it synchronizes pan, tilt, and zoom to all finish at the same time, which is really nice. And we keep that on by default because it makes these beautiful movements and it's set up to have a speed of 185. And you can actually change this speed here. And this is kind of like the easy mode. That's why we have it on by default. And what it does, you set a preset, no matter where the camera moves to, it's gonna pan, tilt, and zoom in a beautiful synchronized motion at the speed that is set here to finish at the location of the preset. But what I'd like to do is turn motion sync off to show you how to really have full custom control of these presets and how they move. So when, when, when uh, motion sync is off, we have the ability, if I go backwards one in this, uh, to set up the pan, tilt, and zoom speed recall. So this is the call preset speed recall here. And then there's also a preset zoom speed. So you saw the camera moving kind of slowly in between those presets. Now let's move it up. This goes all the way up to 24. Let's move it up to like 17. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set that preset again for preset one. And I'm going to set another preset for preset two. And now when we recall these, it's going to move much faster. Okay, so you understand that you have pan, tilt, and zoom speeds for recalling presets. Now, the other part of this is understanding that the exposure is also saved. So certain areas of a scene sometimes can be a little darker than others. So this area over here, if I zoom into this camera, it's a little darker than other spots of my, my space. So you always want to set up your exposure the way you want it. And in some scenarios, that might mean having auto exposure on. If your lights are changing a lot, if the lighting changes, auto is a good, a good room to go. If you have control over your scene, if you have controlled lighting, you have good lighting, then manual control may be the best way to get the best exposure for your camera. But the important thing to know is that you shouldn't go ahead and set a whole bunch of PTZ presets until you have the exposure generally where you want it. Because then you, you, when you set those presets, you'll be recalling an exposure perhaps that hasn't been, been tuned or optimized. So those are some of the, the key things to think about. Now, I want to show you the web interface of the PTZ Optics camera. Now, a web interface is accessible via any web browser. And you type in the camera's IP address into the browser bar. 
If it's the first time you're setting up your PTZ Optics camera, you can set, you can actually plug in a, your PTZ Optics Move SE, Move 4K, or Link 4 camera, or the Studio Pro, for example, by typing in ptzoptics.local forward slash, that will actually bring up the web interface of your camera. Now, in the camera settings tab here, you'll notice that there is the pan tilt zoom options here. And the very first tab is the speed tab. So we've got the speed tab here, which allows us to uh, set the speeds for the pan tilt zooming. So I'll zoom into that just a hair for you. So you can take a peek at that a little closer. And whatever the pan tilt and zoom speeds are set here, at the time that you save your preset, will be how quickly the camera moves. So let's do an example of a slow speed, and then we'll do an example of a fast speed. So let's set a preset here, just where we're at currently. We'll zoom in a little bit just to show pan tilt and zoom. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and hit preset one. We're gonna set it here. But we've got a really slow pan speed. All right, we'll pan over to the left and we'll zoom out a bit. Now the zoom speed's a little uh, faster than the pan speed. Maybe we wanna slow that down a little. And now when I set preset two to this, basically the camera is going to move it kind of zoomed faster than it panned. because so we had a very slow pan and a slow zoom. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you would like the camera to pan, tilt, and zoom all in one beautiful synchronized motion, that is where we have motion sync. So motion sync is on by default because we really do think a lot of customers like that, that look where it pan, tilts, and zooms at the same time. But if you want to have full control of your pan, tilt, and zoom speed settings, you do need to turn motion sync off so that you know, motion sync takes over control of the pan, tilt, and zooming based on that speed that I showed you in the OSD menu. So this is how you set and call presets with the web interface. Pretty nice, right? So now I'm going to show you how to set and call presets with a joystick controller. So I've got my joystick controller here. And this joystick controller, if you look at it, it has pan, tilt, and zoom speeds for manual control. So manual control obviously is with your joystick. And then it also has PTZ controls for presets. So the manual controls, if I just kind of turn some of this tilt, it looks like it was moving pretty fast there. We'll turn the tilt and the speed down a bit. Now from a manual perspective, the camera's moving slower. Okay, so you can kind of find where you like your manual control of the camera, uh, where you find that you know, most, most useful. But the other piece of this is the preset speeds. So we have our preset speeds here where we can have really slow presets or really fast presets. So this is one preset speed that goes all the way up to 24 that affects both the pan and the tilt. So if we want the camera to move slowly, which is nice for certain scenarios, uh, what we have to do is just turn that down. And to set a preset on a joystick, all you have to do is click and hold the button for three seconds and it will save that preset. We'll go to a new location. We'll go ahead and click and hold a new one. All right. Now this is gonna move very, very slowly. I have this set to number one. This is as slow as the camera can move here um, for pan and tilt. So that can be really nice in certain scenarios. It, on the slower panning and tilting, this is where you might want to have it on camera. You might actually want people to be able to see an entire scene slowly panning left and right. When you have faster pan, tilt, and zoom preset speeds, that's when you're trying to quickly move to a location before you move it live in your production. And that's a great way to quickly move somewhere, make sure it's in focus, make sure it's what you want, and then cut it to your live production. So that is some of the features that you should know about for pan, tilt, zoom presets in PTZ Optics cameras. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below. And I almost forgot one small thing that I wanted to mention. 
many of our customers and many of you guys out there are using a Stream Deck or maybe you're using OBS. And Stream Deck and OBS and our, our iOS app and some of those um, different software and hardware controllers, maybe you're designing your own custom controller. We actually just released a video on how to use the API, but I wanted to show you the API really quickly. So on my screen here, I want to take you to the ptzoptics.com website. And in the developer portal, we have the documentation for our API. And the reason why I want to show this really quickly, I've got it up here, is so that you can just, this is a little techy, this might be a little bit above, you know, where you want to go with this, but it's interesting to see that this is what's happening with the camera when you call a preset. So you call a preset, and then you can see here, there's a pan speed, there's a tilt speed, and there's the position information. So all of this is included, including uh, zoom speed and zoom position. Uh, when you call and set presets. So if you're using OBS or you're building your own control system, you can include these speed variables in your calls to your system. So that's actually what's happening when we set a preset with our um, web UI here. And I'll turn up that pan speed a little bit. And let's just do one more preset before we go. Let's do something a little bit more exciting here. Got a slow zoom speed, but we'll zoom into this PTZ Optics camera a little bit. And we will remember to set, we'll do this preset seven. Hit the set button, go to a different preset here. And that's a, adhering to the pan, tilt, and zoom speeds that were set before. Okay, so it's going to take a minute because I think I had it at a very slow setting. And then we will go to preset seven. And that's going to be a little faster because of the settings that I set when I saved that preset. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that gives you guys a really good idea of how PTZ camera presets work and the settings that you have to control your cameras with excellence. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips on PTZ cameras. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next live stream or video.